Good morning, everybody. It's almost afternoon. Today is Friday. I will have my Friday prayers shortly. I need to go off at about twelve thirty like that. In the meantime, what are you having for brunch or lunch? Ah, no, I can't believe you give me heart shape. Thank you so much, I. Okay, today we got a new goal. Today, yesterday we hit one hundred roses, right? Today we try two hundred. Ah, see whether I can hit the target or not. Yesterday when you give me two ah one hundred roses, TikTok inform me you got fifty one cents. Wow, I'm so happy. Eh? You only give me fifty one cents. But just for your information, all the all the coins that I get, actually all I give to other content creator. I watch their live lah, eh? and I just give them heart lah, give them what lah, huh? Oh. Kira, okay anyway, thank you for your contribution. Brian Fu, happy to see you again. Happy to see you again, Brian. Today is TGIF. <laughs> How many of you cannot wait for end of the day? Then hooray! I'm going JB tonight. Uh, flying off to Vietnam. Or oh, don't know where you're going. Anybody going holiday anyway? Anybody planning already for September holidays? September holidays, I think I going Malaysia. Ah, uh, accompany my parents for wedding. Anybody going? Sekali I see you there. Okay, who else is here? Let's see. Hello, bro. How are you? Good. Very good. Thank you. How are you? Two minutes. Two minutes. You male or female? I hope in five years you still doing property. Inshallah, want to sell my Clementi house. Okay, four babies. Look for you or look for me if I use time. <laughs> look for me if I use time. September, I'm going to London. Alamak! You sure or not? Wow, that must be really fun. No, London dark lah. London, London lah. Ah, eh, but I heard London got a lot of scam lah. Is it true? Yeah, PLA. What's, Charles, what's PLA? PLA. Apa eh, PLA? Charles, what is PLA? Oh yes, please. I see. I thought your PLA you're referring to a place, to a location. Lex Lane. Louis Lane become Lex Lane. Hello, Lex. Going cruise. Wow, Charles. Cruise is is it the cruise go to nowhere or cruise go to somewhere? Where? Yeah. I come here to learn information on HDB. <laughs> So that I can share with my family members. Okay lah, I try to share with you guys whatever that I know. Hey, sometimes if my facts are not correct ah, then you just correct me lah. Okay, I also human being lah. Sometimes I talk, 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 talk. Sekali, alam tak? Anyhow, see you in this hakim. Ah, uh, then you must tell me lah. I I can be corrected one. Ah, uh, I can be corrected. Sometimes you know human make mistake. Okay, bro, what question? Need your advice? Okay, shoot lah. I try. Going to meet Arsenal team. Oh, wow, power you! You Arsenal fan, ah? Wow, oh, thank you, Ah. No, I started off the roses already. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Ah. For invited to watch the game with the Queen. Wow, really, ah? You got a lot of connection in London, ah? Good, ah? Daniel Lee, Tony, your good friend. I never met the guy before in my whole life. Only met him on TikTok. Uh, I guess it's my TikTok friend, ah. <laughs> Ayah, Tony, you here lah, Tony. Eh, kan you give me so many roses ah. You power lah, you kan. Thank you, thank you. Seruja cinta. An, you give me, you hit my target today of two hundred roses. Oh my god, everybody, say thank you, An. Salute you, brother. Okay, okay. Now I feel obligated to give you the best of my ability. And answer your questions. I try my best, okay? Waalaikumsalam, Suraja Cinta. Shahid Enrique. Abang, I want to know before key collection, required HLE or HFE, because previously I've secured the unit. Uh, no need. If normally they already ex assess and accepted during your lease agreement, signing of lease agreement, unless you request for the deferred income assessment, then they will um, assess your income again coming to key collection. Both your income and your grants will be assessed again one more time then. Okay? But normal cases, they won't ask you already. Consider settle, just collect keys. 
I'm not sure sometimes if they have any other reasons why they would require from you but if this is a normal case then don't have anybody else here maybe recently they changed certain things I may not be informed anybody else or here your friend recently got collect keys and then need to show income documents maybe you can share with us over here also okay hello single can buy fire room rascal the tiger yes you can resale only okay single you want to buy any size any unit two three four five eight em the terrace of hgb all can but resale only vto only two room okay vto only two room not mature okay Mm, going to Malaysia, Dream Cruise upgraded to Palace Suite, courtesy of Dream Genting Cruise. Wow, I so long haven't go Genting ah. Huh? Now you make me think, should I go to Genting or not? Sam, handsome boy. Why today Friday still so handsome boy? Wow, Sam, you are uh, every day say I handsome ah. Uh. Everybody say handsome, uh, Sam, you are handsome. Wow, thank you, Sam. Muhammad Nabawi, is it advisable to be part of housing agent and quit full-time job nowadays? <sighs> this one difficult to answer. But I tell you my opinion, okay? Uh, become house agent actually, actually uh, for most people, it's not so easy one. It's very difficult. Okay? You can try to be part-time. Of course, obviously, you got to pass the exam first. Okay, you can try to be part time, but most of the time I see me, uh, I see part time agent all because you are not wholehearted there. You just do by the way, by the way kind of thing. You really, I mean, from a client point of view, you, you really want your agent to treat you by the way, by the way kind of thing. No, uh, you want your agent to be fully involved in your uh, in your journey, in your housing journey, right? Uh, so. I'm not sure how exactly you want to do part-time but at the same time, doing full-time is something that you need to sacrifice a lot of things, you know not just the time and family time aspect but also, do you have enough buffer money to to sustain you for the next how many months? 6 months minimum but realistically 12 months so there, there are things that you need to think about uh, I want to tell you the reality of things because Often times you will hear people selling you the idea can make a lot of money, you will be can be rich lah, blah 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 blah. But I, I give you the day-to-day -day aspects of it. It's not as rosy as it seems. Okay? Uh, there's more people who quit rather than successful in this line. Having said that, if you're really passionate, if you really have the drive, and there is nothing stopping you, go ahead, bro. Okay, Hokkien Lang just bought 45 year old HDB. Okay, plan to stay there long term. Many people say a bad move. Sets ya. Hey, you happy lah? Don't let other people tell you what you can or you cannot do. You happy lah? You buy. It depends on your age. Ah. maybe you already rich. I don't know in your 40s or 50s really. And then you realize that no, this is my last one. I can fully pay for everything. I don't want to spend so much on private property. Last house settle. Okay, then I can travel the world. Ah, maybe, maybe that's what you want to do, right? Don't let other people tell you this is a bad, bad choice, lah. What lah? As if they know your life like that. No, 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 don't listen to them. Good, go move. Malaysia back Singapore four days three night. Charles, once you come back, you tell me the cruise good or not. I have never been on a cruise in my whole life, you know. Oh, you later you tell me ah, good or not? Then maybe I will try. Okay, Charles? Okay. Uh, C'est la vie. With new changes, just realized now after selling private to buy HDB need 30 months. <laughs> Small print. No, this one is because of the cooling measure. 30 months is for the BTO. 15 months is for the recent HDB. But I hope you have a place to stay now, C'est la vie. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, thank you, thank you. Anne. My friend H. Sheffy, two months still haven't settled. Nonsense, yeah. Two months is considered still early, bro. Okay? Now I expect three months ago, but most importantly, tell him to follow up with HGB. Call and write in. To request to expedite. Caveat. Bro, I have a question. 
In Singapore, Farid and Malaysia link. Carryover from Muiz, complicated or not? Of course, complicated lah. I have not experienced any Malaysia and Singapore collaboration with regards to um, inheritance for in the context of Muslim families because they both have different, slightly different management. This one managed by Singapore side. They all managed by Malaysia side. Singapore have different procedure and process. Malaysia have different procedure and process. So you cannot have uh, together like that one. I have never experienced nor have I heard before, to be honest. So whatever the assets in Malaysia is, you settle in Malaysia. Assets in Singapore, you settle in Singapore. Okay? Because the ruling is also different. Uh. I'm not familiar with the Malaysian one. For example, in Singapore, in the context of a family unit in Muslim family, um, whatever there is in the house, the joint tenancy law will will be will set in first, you know, will not follow your faraid. Uh, if if let's say the spouse survive, the wife survive the husband, it doesn't mean that the house sell then give to the children, no. The whole thing belongs to the wife. And this one is reflected in our fatwa also. Whether we agree or we don't agree, we follow our fatwa. <laughs> right? Uh, agree, don't agree is a separate topic. But in the context of Singapore, if our Muslim leaders say follow the fatwa, then if we are in this alignment, then we follow accordingly. That means the spouse will survive. So it's a different thing altogether. Big topic, this one, this one is a big topic. Maybe one of the next videos, next few videos, i see whether I can cover or not. Home loan due for refinancing. Okay, do you think current banks still provide interest below two percent? Not that I heard of lah. Now I think the fixed rate, the the best is three percent or slightly above, about three percent thereabouts. Anybody know the latest one? The last I saw and I spoke to a fellow agent, it was about three percent mark for fixed rate for two or three years something like that. And only some banks offers, not all. Eh? So two percent is not at the moment. This month's transaction so low. Yeah, you can see the transaction slowly becoming slow. Uh, slow, huh? uh, Should I be RES so that I can do tenancy agreement for my own properties? <laughs> uh, to your discretion, Sandro. If you have the time and resource to do do your RES and do, just for the sake of tenancy agreement, if me no lah, waste time. My time is worth doing something else, something that I can produce income for me. Not just because I want to save these few hundred dollars to do tenancy agreement or few thousand dollars. Okay? Do the do the subject matter that you're good at, your work, whatever your income or your business. The rest of the thing which is not your subject matter, outsource it to somebody else. Okay. Mm, hi, okay, may I know one bed, one plus one bedroom condo is bad for investment? Because you mentioned it in yours. Yes. You see, uh, most of the time it's not it is not as if you fully pay for your condo. You gotta take a loan from your condo. So today's interest rates is not exactly the lowest. So your your mortgage interest rates is already significantly high. Then you got to pay your stamp duty, you know, uh, your so many other fees like property tax and all this kind of thing, and then to maintain the house. So if you want to buy just one the uh, potential appreciation is not that much. Rental may be easy. Rental point of view may be easy, but just enough to pay off your mortgage. I mean. But in terms of appreciation for one bedroom, although one plus tiny, no, not much. Because why? Because lesser, smaller pool of people can buy this size. Families cannot buy. Families with kids cannot buy. Yeah, space always wins. That's why I say buy three bedder and above. Those who are uh, already in the private world know, know this, who, who already own private properties, they know this. Minimum need three bedroom. It's like same like HDB. Eventually, most families will, I don't know, three, three room also not enough because only got two bedroom. They got to buy four room or five room because four room or five room are the ones that got minimum three bedrooms. Okay? So when you go into the condo world, same thing. You need minimum three bedroom. As small or compact, it may be also never mind. Minimum three bedroom. That's why 
Even people who like, oh, uh, can two plus study or not? Even the small study room, uh, okay lah, if you want to let your helper stay there or your son stay there, or, okay lah, very squeezy, but at least act as a third bedroom. Okay? Do you know anything about FA and the reality of it? FA, are you referring to financial advisory? If that is what you are referring to? Last time I was in the industry. Last, last time, before I did my, more than 10 years ago, more than 13 years ago lah. The first four years of my working life, uh, first five years of my working life was the, in the industry. Then it wasn't my cup of tea before I did my own business. Okay. Mm. Curious lah, what's the typical annual income for agents? Don't count the top tier. The average, average one, I, I, if I tell this, uh, you all don't believe me, you know, but I don't have my facts and data, but this is what I've read uh, before or other people share with me and I see with my own eyes. The ones which are producing uh, maybe only the top 20%, there are about 30 over 1,000 agents in Singapore, right? Only about 20% are producing, producing, like really actually work, every day work one. The rest is part-time, uh, no, uh, I just, uh, just take my license, like taxi license like that, just in case tomorrow I got no job. Uh, uh, sometimes, just not producing lah. Only the 20% are actually like, hey, producing, producing. And of the 20%, only the top 20% are like, whoa, really like, oh, producing, producing, producing. Uh, so, <laughs> you want to count the average, you divide by everybody uh. My guess is, average is 30,000 per year lah. Uh. Which is equivalent to your 2005 per month. Lah. That's the reality of things. Not everybody can get a sale. Most people come into this line may not come with sales experience. So it's completely new for them. How do you expect being a salaried worker your whole life? Doesn't matter whether you're a teacher, lah, policeman, lah, what, lah, from a background which has no sales experience, and maybe you, your personality also. I don't want to do don't do, 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 eh, eh, give flyer out oh, eh, don't know where to put my feet ah. If you are not used to this kind of things, or even being like, like this on camera, then how are you gonna prospect? It's, it's a big hurdle for you. And you come in, especially at the later age of your life, lagi. You like, wow, I feel like dinosaurs, yeah. Uh, uh, ah, not, not what I imagine in my head. My friend say can, can earn one case, can earn 10,000. Wow, not so easy. Huh? Ah, 10,000 also get wow, five months later, six months later. Ah, and then in the meantime, eat what? Then if I only clock one case for four or five months, then I divide by per month only 1,000 plus or 2,000. Ah. Wow, jala, how to pay bills? Ah, okay, so the reality is very different from what other people try to paint the picture. Of course, there are going to be those who are super high achievers and most of the time, they have been in the industry for some time. They have gone through all the sh shit that they need to go through. Mm, small percentage of them, salute to them because of their hard work. But the average Joe, average income, I think anywhere between 30 to 50k. Okay. Boss, I plan cruise holiday. <laughs> Sam, we going cruise ah? October. Okay, okay. Hey, feedback to me uh, how cruise. I never go before. Uh. Cruise is good, Ryan. Maybe I should try to bring my family. Uh. Okay. Um, can you do overseas property looking at Bangkok? I can, but I don't. I'm not a specialist in that area. It requires a lot of homework, research, on the ground knowledge of that particular area. I'm definitely more familiar in the context of Singapore locally. Okay? So, I... In all honesty, I can't do, I don't, I'm not the best person to advise you or share with you, suggest overseas properties. My wife is a foreigner. Can we buy resale? Of course we can buy. The question is, what can you buy? Can she use her income statement for her previous job? Cannot. Guys, HDB, remember, uh, HDB, only Singaporeans can buy. You're not Singaporean, although you're the spouse or the wife or the husband, Cannot. Okay? The put the name as the owner, only the Singaporean. The day that you can put your spouse as the owner is when he or she becomes a PR. So now you got one Singaporean and one PR. Now both can become owner. And now the spouse income, the PR, okay, your income can be accessed. As long as you foreigner, even though you're working, cannot access. 
only can assess the Singaporean income. Okay? Foreigner cannot assess the day that foreigner becomes PR, then the PR uh, income can be assessed. And the PR can be the co-owner. So now got two owners. Okay? So as long as foreigner, although you married already, girlfriend for so long already, still cannot. Okay, because HDB is protecting Singaporeans, special for Singaporeans. Singapore take Y lane. The Kapanda boss, I'm in office. Every day in office to discipline myself to work. Otherwise, otherwise watch Netflix and go lay, go lay on my bed. Lah. My condo resident council full of lousy people. <laughs> what is your advice? I have only one suggestion for you. Okay, one suggestion for you. Change condo. Yeah, change condo all settled really. Why? No need to deal with all the council residents. <laughs> Salam alaikum. Alaikum salam. Muhammad Nur Yusof. Happy Friday. Happy Friday to you. Which post are you going? Later I'm going to Al Fala. Anybody going to Al Fala? Okay. Mm, my first step daughter obtained her Singapore citizenship. I die, she take. My first step daughter obtained her citizenship. I die, she take. Uh, you die, she should, so she's inheriting lah. If she's above 21, then yes. But most of the time, they want to buy their own house, right? So it depends when you die lah. <laughs> if I can go, who did they So yeah, so yeah, I didn't mean, just uh, discussion lah. So it really depends how old you are when you pass on, and how old your, your daughter is. Okay. Mm. Uh, Super Mario. What kind of rental yield percentage is considered okay in the market? Uh, this one very subjective, subjective uh, a lot of people have so many opinions. As long as you beat inflation, or as long as 3% enough, as long as 4% enough, no, it must be 10%. Very subjective, uh, bro. Usually when I see like this, uh, rental... <laughs> it also depends on how... how have you fully paid your property or not? Or your property is still under mortgage, still got a lot of loan or not? So all these things play part. But if you want to make yourself feel good, 4% minimum or almost 4% lah. Gen generic answer. Are you one of the 60 agents that service the laundry? Chow, How you know? Shh. No lah, you cannot see me majority. I do only HDB lah, I don't have GCB. I don't tell people to buy GCB, uh, don't have. Sometimes I wish, but now after this news come out, I'm like, oh, lucky I never do GCB, all those luxury properties. Otherwise, I also cannot succumb to it. Can you imagine from an agent point of view? Uh, you have the, the, the carrot being dangled. Hey, I want to buy this property. You want to represent me or not? Okay, lah, come. Uh, give you business. Sekali you also, wow, okay. Uh, not realizing that this, you. Human being lah, human being. I don't know whether they go do their checks and all these things, but they have to do check. There's only some limitations that we can do, what? We can do, right? But you can imagine the agent doing this, right? happy, like, don't know what, wow, catch big fish ah. I can't believe I sold this, this property, that property to this guy, and then he tell me want to buy third property. Wow, oh, happy, like, don't know what lah. Can you imagine these 60 agents? Not all lah, maybe some of them. Of course, you be, as a human being, you gonna suck in, right? Like, can you say that? No, 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 no. I think you all, some hanky-panky going around. Huh? Hey, you don't talk to rich businessmen, Chinese businessmen like that, right? you don't say, yeah, I suspect you, you don't, you don't talk like that, right? So you're like, wow, hey, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for giving me business, please recommend me more business. Huh? You be like that one, right? So I, I really pity them because maybe they really didn't know. They got sucked in into the wah strike lottery lah, strike jackpot lah. Sekali now, but now investigate. How? Oh, could be your brother, could be your relative, could be anybody, you know? Because at the end of the day, we all are human beings. Hmm. Okay, back to the realities of HDB. My CPF got 40k. <laughs> I was working as driver 1006, my age 36, can I apply to a room? Uh, how much do you so? Difficult lah bro. Uh, you are 36. You're difficult, maybe your loan is not enough. 
two room BTO, maybe I'm guessing now, no mature estate could be in the range of 200,000 or slightly lesser maybe. Okay? Maybe possible depending if you got grants or not. Is this your first time? If you are first time you got grants, I think maybe possible. You are first time now and you can qualify for grants, then maybe it's possible. Do your HFE first. What does your HFE say? Okay? Try, give it a try first. If not enough, it's not applies for everybody. Eh? Do the HFE today first. Okay? Regardless of what your loan amount. At least you know, now with my current job, I get this loan amount, I get this grants. Oh, no. Oh, like this. Ah. Okay. Then you calculate it. Enough or not my budget? Enough or not to buy this house that I'm trying to aim? If enough, okay, you're happy. If not enough, you're like, okay, how much I shortage? Is it because of the grant? Is it because of the loan? Oh, call loan. Oh, it's, it's my income. La. Uh, okay, then you think, hey, wife, you want to work or not? I don't want to work. La. You go and work. You are the man of the house. Oh, okay, la. then I got to ask myself, la. maybe I need to find a different job that can give me a slightly higher income salary so that I can have enough loan. Not a bad thing. La. You have to switch job at the end of the day. You are the one who will hire pay. What? I don't think it's a bad thing. right? Uh, Bottom line is you can assess for yourself. So apply first so that you can do the assessment. Salam Hakim, Aku Salam. I fully paid my current house. Like this, lah, good, everybody. See, follow good example. Using CPF and grants given. Can I still take HLE for second timer? Yes, of course. If you have not utilized your second HLE, you can. Maximum two times. Yes, you can. Okay, 3.15. Oh, okay. Thank you, lah. Shai Woka, he have updated us that the latest uh, is 3.15% interest rate for housing loan. Advantages of private property in the long run. Okay, in the long run, uh, it may be good for you. Lah. Not everybody can afford, but you can work towards that. Okay, in the long run, it may be good for you. I just give you this one example. Okay, at 65. You think for yourself, at 65, we cannot take loan really. So whatever that we loan, subject to what our income is at this point of time, household income, we are going to finish our loan at 65. Likely at that age, we are not going to work, we are going to retire already, right? If you are working towards just a HDB, and then you end at 65, then maybe your HDB then is only worth 600, 800, say lah, 1 million lah, the highest, 1 million, I'm sitting on a 1 million dollar 5 room HDB, example. Or, if you, during your younger days, just bought that one, and didn't, didn't buy a sell, buy a sell, buy a sell, I haven't talked about that lah. Just one private property, and you stuck to it, and you pay in your early days, but at 65 you finish paying, because compulsory all will finish paying. What do you think is the, the, the value of your private property at that point of time, 65? You think it will be the same as the HDB 1 million? No ah. If HDB 1 million, then my confirm like 2 million, 3 million, maybe 3.4 million, depending on how big your size is, right? So at 65, do you want to sit on the 1 million dollar property? Or do you want to sit on the 3 million dollar property? So at that point of time, when you, up, when you downgrade to a smaller one, example, then the difference you will pocket lah for your retirement. Uh, this is just a rough example, but you get an idea. The other thing that I like about private property is I don't have to deal with any more HDB rulings. No fire, MOP, no this rule, that rule. Don't have. Private property is mine. Like when you stay in other countries, when you buy in Malaysia, you buy Malaysia public housing, no, uh, you buy private property. You buy in Indonesia, you buy in UK, any other part of the world, majority, of course it's private. Same lah. Don't see private property in Singapore. It's, oh no, this is very unpatched. No, it's, it's a property, guys. Like any other house that you buy in other parts of the world, Dubai, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, whichever part of the, the world that you buy, it's a private property, right? Same lah. Sometimes it's just mental block. Okay? But uh, I, I like the fact that the flexibility aspect. Okay? Okay, last I applied the grant, November. Way too far, this is message I can book also. Yes, you can book. Salam, Baba. Salam. Can fresh graduate just started apply with you or buy the same? Just started working. You need um, Houdini wannabe. 
you need the minimum 12 months. Without the minimum 12 months, they will not be able to assess your grants for you. You may have a loan if you have 3 months for example, but you still need the grants to help you with the down payment portion. So you need to work 12 months first. Then you, you can uh, get. Okay? So do your 12 months first. Lah. That, that's what I suggest to you. Okay, where is Tony? Yeah, Tony, where are you? Are you here or not? My friend worked property agent two months only. Earn $300. Eat grass, you make it. Exactly, this is the one I'm talking about. Guys, the truth is majority is like this. Ah. You always hear the, the good stuff. But the, the reality is, is raba. I, I purposely scare you first. If after I scare you, you still want to join me, you, get, you have what it takes. Okay. If one to get the most out of HDB must pay full cash for HDB loan every month and do voluntary housing. Uh, this is what I would do. Correct, Brian Fu. This is what I would do. If you are sticking to HDB only, for now, for example, I would find means and ways to quickly pay it off first. Because it is much cheaper than private property. And if even if I cannot fully pay off, at least I minimize my outstanding loan in my younger days at the very least. Uh, Go Cruise must bring lots of money. Temptation from Shaitan is real on board. <laughs> That's why don't bring money, then cannot spend. Whatever. <laughs> the biggest hurdle in sales is the knowledge of your products and your personality. Uh, That's a lot of truth in that. Thank you for sharing that. Which office? Take one. Uh, this is the Mama Suta office. This is my big boss office. I only co-share one small, tiny little room. Only. That you are seeing now. This small little office is what I just co share. He he go and take the whole unit. It's a shop house. But can I buy one million property in HDB housing? I don't know, can you? <laughs> if you can afford, go ahead. Lah. <laughs> some some people find it's okay to work, but my opinion is eventually uh, more and more HDB will touch the one million mark. It's a matter of time only. Lah. Right. Do you see HDB housing 20 years ago? Say go, going to go back to 20 years ago pricing, 30 years ago pricing? No, uh. right? It only gets higher and higher. Alfala, your office in Orchard? No, it's in Mama Sultan, but that's the nearest, most convenient, easy to park. Then after that, can go Paragon for lunch. Hello, boss, I have a question. Sure, sure. What is your question? Oko Butter. Oh, guys, I got 10 more minutes. Okay, okay. What are your thoughts on a new couple who wants to buy a resale and income of 4k total? U0 Same thing, apply for your HRP first I think right now most people who want to buy regardless of what age you are or regardless of what household income You are blindsided because you do not know what kind of budget am I working with What's my loan size, what's my grants yeah? The moment you have figured out your budget from your HRP Then you can go into the market, go a property guru have a rough picture, you already know which locations you're looking at. And from there you can you can feel oh four room this kind of prices, five room this kind of prices. Oh, what, what should I consider? Uh, then you can start your, your ball rolling there. Without the HFE you are blind you do not know where to go. Like like what you're asking me now. You, you do not know direction, you don't know what to go. First step, just apply your HFE first. Okay? Okay. Mm, can retire already ECB. <laughs> You think the Chinese people who yeah. buy DCB they retire? Ah, oh, now in big problem already. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, usually, when the 99 year house you stay long, <laughs> left 50 years, do you wait for 10 years later to sell? When you are staying in an old HDB and you have intentions of selling, it's better to sell earlier than later. If you have no intentions, then you don't even think about oh, well, how many years left and you don't you need to think because this is your last house, you want to stay here forever you like the location, you like the place okay? You are, you are not thinking about that already full and final, last and final already but if you are really, when, when should I sell? Huh? should I sell uh, this year or this? then you faster quickly sell you don't wait long long because yours is an old house the longer you wait, the smaller your pool of buyers the more your accrued interest they need to refund Mm, okay, I love your shirt. Hey, thank you. Like graph paper. Uh, macam eso uncle. Basket, call me eso. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, laugh. 
Champagne Supernova You make my day lah bro Okay Does a business owner with full time job <laughs> wait, 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 are you a business owner or full time job? So meaning you have a full time job And then you do your own business also lah Okay Submit NOA or CPF statement to apply Well, maybe you submit your full time job And then you add on the income as a supplement But of course it's going to be haircut Okay, it's possible So it's like you have a full time job I just put example lah Full time job, but then on the sideline you do tuition for example Or you teach music uh, Or teach karate or whatever lah Then that becomes a side income If you declare that for your NOA Then it can be used But must declare your NOA uh, two years Right. Can uni students without payslips apply for HFE? This is a very good question. Previously, you, you can do this uh, for the different income assessment. But I've yet to speak to anybody who did this recently with the new HFE and how does it work. Um, I imagine you can apply the HFE and indicate there that 0000, zero, zero, zero because you want to apply for different income assessment for the PTO portion. Obviously, for this year, you cannot buy anything. Lah. For BTO, it may be possible. Hey, Kida Fuad is here. Yes, guys, it should be first, then go view. Tada, see, another agent already uh, second what I said. Hi, how much I need to prepare for my first HDP? Both of us are PR. As much as possible. I, I give you the answers really. Do your. Both of you are PR. Lah. Oh, Malaysian, lah, Vincent. Selamat datang. <laughs> PR. Three years ah, sorry ah, but I have to be three years ah, bro. Listen, both of you need to be PR for three years, then can apply for HCB ah. Unfortunately, you cannot apply for BTO. Unfortunately, you cannot apply for HDB loan. You can only take bank loan, so that means only seventy five percent loan with five percent compulsory cash, and then twenty percent can use your CPF. Okay. It's more difficult for you guys, but I really salute you guys because every time I do PR case ah. It reminds me to tell my Singapore counterparts ah, that you know how lucky you are. No, PR cannot get HDB loan, PR cannot get grant, PR cannot buy BTO, only can buy resale, and yet they buy, and yet they pay the ABSD. Oh. Take bank loan some more. Bapak Rushdi is here, bro, what's up? Hey, bro, now your video full. I also lose uh, your level of video and. Oh, I really love watching your videos. Uh. Very high quality. Awesome, bro. Five more minutes. Okay, guys, five more minutes. See, my people sing to me. Five more minutes before I need to go to the mosque. Okay, uh, Herman. Bought my house 500k. Market now around 520. Will I get cash? Uh, bought your house. Likely not, uh, bro. Unless you paid all in cash. If you didn't pay, if you majority of CPF, likely not. Okay, likely not for your for your house. How do you know it's 520 in your area? Maybe you bought during a high time, is it? When did you buy your house? Is it 2013? If you want to sell. You know what, everyone, do the calculation first. Okay, you're not sure, you, you DM me, I have you calculate. Do the calculation first and then you can see. Oh, got any cash proceeds or not? If got cash, how much? If don't have cash, okay, don't have cash means how much? At least you know, at least you know now. Nah. Also, depending on your house is how old lah. Because the longer you wait, then the more accrued interest you have. I need to roll, no cash. So, I'm not trying to. Alpha, anybody, anybody going to Alpha la today? Uh, why HFP so long? Duty, mommy, thank you. <laughs> it's like that one. Unless you work for Stepboard. Oh, I don't know why. Yes, Stepboard so far, so far, based on my own cases. Yes, ah. Stepboard very fast, yeah. Hey, okay, today I uh, got. Extra! Got extra out of here! <laughs> Lama, make noise you need. Okay. Okay guys, last few questions. Uh. I need to chow ready. Uh. I need to get ready for my... Are you a lawyer? Apple Wong. No! <laughs> Thank you for thinking so highly of me. Uh. Apple, I'm not a lawyer! I'm a lawyer who knows what But I'm, I'm a property agent. I am a licensed property agent. I am not a lawyer. Uh, my qualification, no, I didn't take the bar. Wait, wait. <laughs> yes, boss, I'm PR wife. Hey, Marcus Law is here. Lama, my big boss is here. Anyway, I marketed his whole office for him already. Boss, I marketed your office for you. 
How many wives? Walau we ask me, uh, finally I saw the video about Tesla video. Uh. Everybody talking about about. I said, hey, what what is about Tesla? I don't know what about Tesla. Oh, well, he married second wife. Is that why you asking me how many wives I have? Huh? Really, one wife suffer like don't know. Really, one wife so difficult to manage the reality of things. You want to get a second one, a third one? Huh? You sure not? One ah, commit to one first. I mean, commit to one, not one first. Commit to one. <laughs> <laughs> commit to one and be the best one. in that one. Okay? Hello, <laughs> uh, you all purposely right? Uh, you purposely want to do me right? Uh, you you all uh. Okay, uh, guys, I need to go already uh. Today I'm going to Alpha Lamos for. For my friendly prayers, whoever is going there, I'll see you guys there. Say hello to me. Um, okay, if you have any have any questions that you want to ask, uh, you can just DM me. For those of you who haven't followed me, please uh, support by following me over here. Thank you so much for letting me achieve my new goal today. Thank you to Anna. He contributed, I think, all of the flowers with the exception of a few. Okay, okay, guys. I see you in my next life. Thank you very much. Bye, everybody.